We're all guilty of it. There are some games that we just miss out on. It's not always our fault, we all have lives to live, but that doesn't really make it any easier when a huge game takes the rest of the world by storm and we're left on the outside looking in. All of us know what it's like to miss out on something, so we asked the team here at Unilad Gaming to open up about a time when they missed the hype train for a video game. Bear in mind we can only pick one each, so there's undoubtedly plenty of games we won't get to talk about this time. With that being said, here's our top 5 games that passed us by. Before we start, don't forget to hit subscribe and ping that bell for updates whenever we upload new videos. Batman Arkham Knight You know that one game that sits in a drawer somewhere in your home collecting dust but you keep telling yourself you'll get around to playing it eventually? Yeah. That's Batman Arkham Knight for me. I adored both Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, so decided to buy Rocksteady's third Batman installment when it came out in 2015. However, for whatever reason, I never jumped back into Gotham City. I loved roaming the dark setting as one of my favourite superheroes, and the previous games had some of my most memorable boss battles in gaming. Who could forget the Poison Ivy fight, or even beating the huge Titan Joker at the end of the first game? The more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm remembering how good these games were. In fact, doing this video may have persuaded me to finish the Arkham Trilogy. Plus, you can drive the Batmobile in this one. I will play Arkham Knight one day, I just don't know when that day will be. Final Fantasy 7 I was going to start off by apologising for this, but you know what, I'm actually not that sorry. Final Fantasy 7 was just one of those games I never played as a kid, so I don't have that nostalgic love for it that most people have. I didn't get a PS1 until pretty late into its life cycle because we're not made of money in this bloody household, and the games I did have, I just sort of stuck with them. Tekken 3, Die Hard Trilogy and Tomb Raider came with it, and when my dad bought it home from his mate's house with a couple of demo discs thrown in for good measure, that was sort of our lot. Don't get me wrong though, I love other games in the Final Fantasy series, and I even thought Advent Children was a revelation when I first saw it. 8 and 15 are highlights, and 12 was one of my favourite games of the PS2 era, but I just don't really have that love for 7 that other people do. I know the story, the style and the cultural impact of it, and I appreciate it in that way, but at this point it just feels too far gone and I have no desire to play it in its current state. I will 100% be jumping into the remake when that happens though. At some point, probably. Actually thinking about it, I guess I kind of have nostalgia via osmosis. I remember other people remembering it fondly, if you get what I mean. No? Leave your hate in the comments. Cheers. Uncharted. I was an Xbox kid, plain and simple. During the PS2 era, I spent my days mowing down grunts in Halo and grinding vertically up rails in Jet Set Radio Future. So when the Xbox 360 and PS3 were revealed, I was just naturally drawn to Microsoft. Because of this, I totally missed Uncharted, and in turn, the entire bloody franchise. I know so many people who talk incredibly favourably about the adventures of Nathan Drake, and how amazing the John Williams score is, and how the series was one of the first real cinematic gaming experiences, but for some reason, I've just not got around to jumping into the series. Maybe one day I'll dive in. But working as a video editor in gaming, it's hard to not know every story and plot beats of every AAA game, so I have no real desire to follow through a story when I know how it ends. Sorry Naughty Dog, I did play The Last of Us Remastered on my PS4 though, so I'm not a total failure. Red Dead Redemption I know, I know, the fact that I've never played Rockstar's iconic, influential 2010 Western is a mark of considerable shame on my house, but before you call for my immediate resignation and or public execution, I do have reasons, or excuses depending on how you look at it. I'll be calling them reasons. The big reason is that I didn't actually own a PS3 or Xbox 360 until around 2014. Coming from a pretty big working class family, we could pretty much only afford the one console, and it kind of had to be the Nintendo Wii to keep the entire family happy. Don't get me wrong, I was fine with that because I got to play games like Metroid Prime 3, Twilight Princess and Super Mario Galaxy. By the time I finally had the cash to grab a console that could run Red Dead, well, there were just so many other games I wanted to play. Skyrim, Fallout, Uncharted, Arkham Asylum and City. I just didn't have the time to play what I honestly thought was just GTA with Cowboys. Once again, I know, I'm sorry. If it helps, I picked up Red Dead Redemption 2 on day one, absolutely devoured it and fell in love with it. Funnily enough, that still hasn't really inspired me to go and play the first Redemption though. One day, maybe. Grand Theft Auto Vice City when GTA Vice City landed on PS2 back in 2002, it blew everybody away. Everybody but me, I mean. I was a kid who didn't own a PS2 because I leaned more toward Nintendo at the time, so I didn't think about PlayStation games for a minute. Next thing I knew, everybody in the schoolyard was playing gangster and talking about 80s music, and I couldn't figure out what happened. I love Go West, so I was well into my peers listening loudly to Call Me, but when I eventually learned of Rockstar's masterpiece, I realised what I'd missed out on. The GTA franchise had taken a huge stride forward, and although there has since been plenty of opportunity to 
get back into the franchise with San Andreas and more, I don't feel any real desire to be part of it. 4 didn't interest me, and I didn't really click with 5. They're all clearly great games, but not for me. I was just too late to the party. It doesn't mean I don't respect them, I just played LA Noir instead. Which is better, right? So that was our list. Which games did you miss out on? As always, let us know in the comments and subscribe to Unilad Gaming on YouTube so you don't miss out on any great gaming content.